Yeah, 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 Fantasy and Color Podcast. I'm Rob Ayala. He's taking a I'm drink. Dean Phillips. <laughs> yeah. Got a special guest in the building. Tell us your name. Introduce um, yourself. <laughs> yeah, I already know who I am. I gotta introduce myself again. Yeah. <laughs> you time to reintroduce you yourself. <laughs> My name is Kyrie. Uh-huh. Pass the car. <laughs> right. New titles. <laughs> exactly. Nice little nice little gallery in your background filling that layout. Yeah, we got a little little bit of few selections going, you know, just a small part of the collection. The his and hers collection. The his and hers joints. Word. Yeah. So guys, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna get right into the mix. This is not even your personal favorite. Let's just put out there real quick for, for the public. Who are the top, you know how we say like the top, top five best MCs in the world? And that could be anybody. It could be your Biggies, your Rakims, your Nas's. It could be uh, your Jay-Z's, your Eminem's. You know, we know the heavy hitters, right? Who will we say, and I'm not right. just saying your personal favorite, just who will we say the world's top heavy hitters when we say artists? Who are who are those version in the art world? Who are those Who are those guys? We, uh, of course, uh, Pablo Picasso's on there, right? That's a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. Right. Not, not, not a yeah. No, no, no. We, we're not. We, we're not talking no, about. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we're just trying to. We, this is not even a debate. We're just setting the premises of what people think are the oh, most popular okay, okay. artists in the world. All right, we're just agreeing on the facts. I got you. So we definitely know Picasso's the one. We talking about. And we're saying popular. We're not saying best yet. We're saying popular. I got you. All right. So he's there. He's on there, right? Yeah. Right. We would say, who else is on there? We would say Van Gogh was on there. Yeah. Yes. For the world, right? Yeah. And then, you know, you you have to say, you know, people like um, Warhol's on there for the world. Maybe. For the world. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying for argument's sake. I'm, yeah. I'm going maybe, honestly. I don't know if... But you know what? All right. I'm Remember, not, we don't have time to nitpick because we have to. So we just have to say who's like the most right. popular people. You got to you gotta, you gotta right. go with the classics. It's it's, all, right. it's all the Ninja Turtles. No, but I'm not even. We're not going that far. We are not going that far. <laughs> Y'all taking us off. We're not even getting started yet. Hold on. I'm gonna have to lay this out. All right, guys. Hold on. Let me start over because we're not talking about Leonardo and them niggas right now. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not saying we can't. Maybe maybe one of them. Maybe one of them. But check it out. Voice? This is what I'm saying. Uh, for argument's sake, there. for argument's sake, I'm talking about pop culture in the world. Picasso, um, Van Gogh, Dolly, Warhol. I'm sorry, yeah. Keith, Keith oh, Herron. Okay. Basquiat. Keith I'm just saying, yeah. Frida, Frida. No, I'm not talking about Frida. your personal I'm favorite. I'm talking about the world, the world. The yeah, world. yeah, yeah. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And then maybe if you if y'all want to throw a couple of uh, because I'm not mad at some of the people that are from the Renaissance list. Maybe maybe who's the most popular from those names? Michelangelo? No, I would say Michelangelo. But wasn't that the wasn't that the the, the oh no that was the the, the artist? But he did David. Mike, I was like, wasn't that wasn't it's that nigga David? Me. Nah, yeah, Michelangelo. Huh. The sketch the statue was David. Right. Yeah. All right. If you want to throw him on there, but anybody we missing that's just like popular heavy hitters. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. All right, so now realistically, we said some names. Now we got to put them in class. All right. Let's go pop. Oh, let's go, let's go, not even pop. Let's go, let's go street that merged into gallery, 80s, versus, let's go Basquiat versus Gotta Perry. be Keith. Yeah, it got to be who, Keith versus who wins? Who's better? T- and tell me why. For any argument, Kadeem, I know your favorite is Keith Heron, so I'm assuming you're gonna say Heron wins. If- but I love, I love Keith and I love Basquiat. Like I got love for both of them. So who wins? Versus. Can't be that hard. Kyrie, who, you let us know if you got your answer loaded. Who, who wins? You already know. I, I, I'm I, well. Maybe you don't know. I'm gonna say Keith Haring for this. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Basquiat, but I'll let you go first. Go ahead. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Basquiat actually. Well, go ahead, go ahead, um, Kyrie. Because um, oh, you don't like you don't respect you don't respect Basquiat. That's why. Well, go ahead. I'll I, let I, you re- finish. 
I, I, I respect, <laughs> I respect <laughs> Bokiat as as an artist, as as an influencer. I respect him as a um, as as a black man in the art world and art culture, like significance of, of his presence there. Um, I'm not a fan of his actual work though. It might have been a couple of pieces. I'm like, I'm really feeling. I don't know all the names of them, but it was like literally maybe two or three pieces that I, that I've seen of his. I'm like, I'm feeling that. But as a, on a whole, I'm not really feeling his work. But I appreciate his cultural, you know, his his his, his contribution to the culture from a black man's perspective. And so Keith Herring, all right, that, you just explain what, what why you don't like Basquiat, but why does Keith Herring beat him? Uh, Keith Herring. It's like because all those culture things count too. The culture things count too. You know, well, the whole uh, the the contribution to the to to to, to the um, you know about about the AIDS and, and and bringing awareness to AIDS through his art. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's a big cultural like move right there. That's that's something that using your art to influence the world. He was he was he was definitely bigger for I don't want to say bigger, but it was a big move, right? To to use your when you use your art. To help popular uh, make another cause popular, that's that's not easy to do. Your artwork bringing that kind of heaviness to to a different cause. All right, so they they doing it versus style. Basquiat standing here, Keith Herring standing here, and they going painting for painting. You say Keith Herring is, is wins every round. Keith Herring wins every round just on technique alone. They're bugging. But I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. That's it. Period. All right. Um, Kadim, I'll let you go. Are you frozen or are you just making that face? You made him froze. He's making a frozen face. Oh, wait. He's back. Okay. <laughs> he was, he was frozen for a minute. Uh, no, like, I don't, I think it's, it's a close battle. I don't think it's a distant battle. Like, Kyrie make it sound like Basquiat can't hang at all. And probably from me going to the Brooklyn Museum exhibit and the Guggenheim and seeing some of more, more Basquiat pieces that aren't as popular that are very detailed, layered, and there's a lot of storytelling. I look at him and I'm like, there's a lot of elements to him where it, a lot of his work I appreciate. So I would go, I would say if we're going like a versus style, I'd say it's probably like 11-9 Basquiat. 11-9 Basquiat? I say 11-9. I say 11-9 Herring. Because keep what Keith Herring do, Keith Herring joints is like pop, like pop songs, you know what I'm saying? Like the the the, the club bangers. See, yeah. I wouldn't. And, and and Basquiat joints, Basquiat joints is like you might have to, you might have to drink or smoke a little bit to really get into it. I don't. I think if you're looking at it, even by today's standards, Basquiat stuff would be held. Basquiat stuff is a little bit more like higher claim. Like by looking at today, like how people like go after who style because they're both they're both posthumous. So you kind of got to look at that stuff like when it was done and when it was a rap. Like Keith Haring is Keith Haring is Keith Haring. Like it's solidified. But Basquiat stuff is kind of like it's still for some reason is a constant remake of like everything. Like it's constantly more murals, more other things. So I would say it's I think like I would say they're both they would be Kanye Drake. They're both the pop stars of their own generations. Just Around the same time, which one? It, which one? Which one's Kanye? Which one's Drake? Because that matters. <laughs> it don't matter. It, whichever one you pick. It's like, no, that one matters. It matters. It matters. Like, all right, like, can let me. All right, I want to. I mean, let me tap in from Kadeem, but I'm gonna. Mine's gonna be. So yours is just way on the side of Heron, like like is a knockout. Kadeem feels like it's gonna be close, but he he's edging Basquiat. To me, I feel like it's not even close. I feel like Basquiat wins that hands down. Because one major thing is that you're completely underselling his technique and what he puts on canvas. And I get it, because a lot of people do, but you're kind of, you're pushing it off as like, not that skillful and stuff like that. But the thing with Basquiat, and this is like a fact, most of his paintings are so deeply rooted in other things. So it's like so much messages. So there's deeper, like you have to kind of like, you do kind of have to like study his stuff in the sense of like classical art that you go to the museum and study. Where I feel like with Keith Haring is is dope, but it's, it's, it's right in your face, you get it. It's not that. Only thing with Keith Haring I will say, cause I just took the kids on a, on a museum trip 
you will notice a couple of dicks you didn't notice the last time. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, that was there. It was some subs in there, yeah, definitely some subs. But in the joint. <laughs> but I think with Basquiat to me, I feel like his. I'm going now. The whole story. I'm I, I'm gonna sell it. I'm probably not gonna win you over, but maybe I'll win you over to say there's more of a fight. Um, I feel like it was more of a, and I know he both died early, but with Basquiat being he pretty much with the drug use, he kind of did it to himself, right? He burned himself. It was more like a he would, he gives me that Pac and Biggie vibes, like. They just came to do some incredible shit and just leave young. Kurt Cobain, people like that. So it was more tortured, it was more soul. It was like, there's a lot of stuff in that art that some people are just brushing off as like amateurish. And here's the other thing. So many other people have gotten over with that amateur stuff that it makes it, it downgrades that. But I feel like he invented that, that, that look of being like childlike, being like popular. And I feel like a lot of people ran with that. And that made it kind of whack because they're not that good. But I feel like with him, I think he was really that good. I think he just created a, a style that was rooted in just like messages and, and hidden form. And I don't know, I like a lot of his color palettes too. So to me, yeah. I think he wins. I, I give him, wins. I, I give I give you the I, I give you the fact that story uh storytelling wise on, on I would say canvas, but he, he don't even use canvas that much or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever I mean, you know, whatever whatever he had, he yeah. He used um there's there's definitely more storytelling elements in it. It's, you definitely got to sit with it for a minute. Um, they said his drawings is crazy too, like his hand drawings. Was yeah, even was crazier. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was like right. Keith Haring is more like, you know, you know, subway ad. You see it on you see it on the subway. You got it right away. You don't have to sit with it for a minute. You got it right away. But like, say say I'm thinking of it this way, right? Technique aside alone, right? I would give Basquiat. I would give Basquiat the edge over pairing when it comes to like you know storytelling elements in the piece but then if you if you had to think a bit about like selling a song right say you're selling a work that key pairing stuff is more digestible to a broader audience right i Basquiat, guess i guess Basquiat, you gotta be more like you gotta be you gotta be willing to sit through it to really get it right i won't here's what i would say about Basquiat, which works in the art world to his favor in this. As you said, Keith Haring is more in your face, you get it. The thing about art is it's so open for interpretation that Basquiat is whatever you really kind of want to find in there. True. Like you don't really know his interpretation of it until he says it. But Keith Haring is just, you get it. You know what he's talking about. He's talking about capitalism, homosexuality, AIDS, it's there. That's why Basquiat I give him a Mm -hmm. All right, well, but I mean, nah, that's, that's fair enough. It's just that it's three of us, so technically, that's 2-1. Yeah. So Basquiat wins as far as, as, far as right, the debate. That's how we're going to have to keep it. It's, 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 it's fair. I haven't been let's, let's, move, let's, let's move on. I don't want to say to some heavier weights, <laughs> saying that they, they low weight. But that was like that that 80s, okay. 80s. Now, these are, these are two people where, check the dates. One might be older, but they definitely were alive doing it at the same time. Let's go Salvador Dali versus Pablo Picasso. Yeah, they were there was overlap in they and they, yeah. they I don't know which one I don't know who's older than who. One is right? Pablo? I don't know. Somebody Google this so we can at least kind of have yeah. a context because that that counts. But they're totally different. So it wasn't like yeah. one wasn't inspired by the other. They took their techniques. Pablo Picasso was really an internal kind of dude. His stuff came from his dreams and stuff he saw in his own twisted head. Where Picasso really looked out outward for inspiration. And had so, different periods for stuff. So I, I feel like I want to say Picasso's older though. Picasso. I do want to say that right now. Picasso died in '73. He's born '88. Wait, hold on. He was born in '81. Oh, it's me too. <laughs> no. <laughs> in 1881, out this motherfucker. Oh, Salvador was older. Oh, he was? 84 when he died. But what, what no, was he born? He was, no, no. Um, he was born Picasso in uh, 01. 01, 1901. 1901? Yeah. Okay. So wait, wait. No, when, was, when was Picasso born? Well, born before him. But there was they, they lived at the same time. There was an overlap. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all bugging out. Y'all bugging out. 
Salvador was born 1904, my bad. And uh, Salvador Dali was born 1904. Picasso was born in 1881. So Picasso's older. Yeah. yeah. You were just but saying he lived a oh, lived, long lived life. a longer life. Yeah. Yes. And what year did they both die? In the 70s? Picasso died in well, Picasso died in the 70s. Uh, Salvador died in the 80s. Damn, Salvador Dali was still kicking around in the 80s? Yeah, yeah. he died in um, 1989. 89? Damn, yeah. shit. Yeah, he was, I mean, he was, over, he was uh, damn near coming out the house a little bit. Yeah, there's pictures of him and Madonna. I, was I wasn't going out no house. No, not Madonna. It was another pop star he was out there with. Um, it might have been Blondie. Okay. All right. And he was still he was still doing stuff. All right, he so that's it. That, that's the versus. Who wins? <laughs> Who wins? Yeah. I go first. That's a hard one. That's a nah, hard I one. Got I got it. I, I'm going to go first. Go I'm going to say Picasso over Dolly for the same reasons, right? Um, when Picasso hit, the Cubism stuff, when that hit, it was it, was, it hit different than um, the Dolly stuff, the, the surrealism that Dolly was doing, that Picasso was hitting because it was different. It was way different from what everybody else was doing. Well, everybody in the Western world, we, that's a different conversation. Um hit a little harder because it was different from what everyone else was doing. Everyone else was doing realism, portrait, uh, 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 like realism portraits type yeah. stuff. And then he came in, did something completely different, changed the whole game. Dolly came in, did something different. His subject matter was more interesting than, than, um, than Picasso's. Picasso's his subject matter was basically still portraits, but Dolly's joints was like surrealism, like brain melt. Like but as far as co like commercial wins for the commercial, for like you selling a record, mm -hmm. yo, the new latest joint that was Picasso and everybody else did some type of version of it or changed it, changed their whole, he made everybody else switch up their game. Okay. Kadeem, what you think? I'm trying to put aside my personal preference because my personal preference would go to Salvador. But I'm probably going to have to go more Picasso. But yeah, my personal preference is definitely Salvador. But I'm a, for this, I'm going to go Picasso. I think just the name alone of who Pablo Picasso is and all the work he's done. Like, I, I gravitate more to Dolly for the realism. That's more my work style anyway. But if we're talking like in the grand scheme of their whole total work, I'm definitely going um, Pablo Picasso. Yeah. I think this might be a 3-0. Yeah. Because, like I said, if you break it down into the, to the divisions, like if you say pure just creativity, imagination, you might be able to give that to Dolly, right? Yeah. Like, because yeah, I don't feel like... Down. I don't stuff, think that's a question. Yeah, like even into his old age, like he did a lot of other little weird sculptures and just random he's just yeah. you know what i mean like he's he was just creative he's definitely but, all around all this yeah but he would he be the nas and 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 picasso be the jay-z nah. the more bigger you know like that analogy why not uh dolly would be dolly would be like a kendrick no wait Chrissy, are you blow drying your hair right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's coming up, but if y'all do, that, just... I don't hear it. All right, fine. Don't... You know what? Nah, that, nah, that's nah. <laughs> it's the headphones. It's all right. Uh -huh. I would say, um, nah, because like I said, Picasso made everybody switch, right? What his history wise. When Picasso, when Picasso came out and started doing his cubism, the reason he did it um, was because everybody was doing portraits, you know, traditional style, but cameras was out. Instead of people commissioning artists to do portraits, people was commission, commissioning photographers to travel the world and take photographs. So he was like, all right, well, I can't compete with that. So I'm gonna do something different. He traveled the world, you know, borrowed from here, borrowed from there and came up with his own style but because he put it on such a high platform 
everybody else was like, yo, I don't have to just do regular portraits no more. I could do things differently. Exactly. So if I'm thinking of a rapper that made everybody switch up their game, I'm not even sure who that is right now off the top of my head. Uh, Kanye? It might have been no. Kanye. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't argue that hard against that. So... But I'm talking about one thing when I say Kanye, like as far as like how you could be like a regular guy, kind of. You don't have to be like uh, he was on the rock, but he kind of broke that. You have to be like Benny Siegel. Yeah. You don't have to follow the mold. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't different. say he was Kanye. I would say if we're looking at like because he was a different genre almost of art with the cubism, like it kind of felt like a different genre. I but y'all do know he wasn't the only one doing it too, right? It just no, but but he had the platform though. He had the platform. But he had the platform. I would almost look at it like trap music. Like everyone started to do trap when trap became popular, or like something yeah. like that. So you trying to say it, it was Jeezy? There was Jeezy and Ti. I mean Jeezy and, exactly. and Gucci. T, it was Ti first. Ti was really doing it. Yeah, first. like when you really look at it, that became the, he made everybody switch their style up. Like when New York rappers couldn't get on the radio, they started doing trap music. Mm -hmm. That's true. When everybody couldn't get popular, run to a trap beat. Run to an eight oh eight drum. All right. It, well, I think I think that's hands down. But no, that's no no diss to um, Dolly because no diss to Dolly. He's dope, but Dolly Picasso is just Picasso is the most <laughs> most recognizable name. Yeah. All right. Let's you wanna let's let's go crazy let's go enough. vintage. Let's go Hold vintage. On, crazy enough. Oh my bad. Looking up Dolly's, he died four months after Basquiat. Yeah. What? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that was like right back to back, like they was close. It, they were Dolly died after ba died after Basquiat. I didn't know it was that close, but I knew it was close. That's yeah. crazy. When and when did Keith Haring die? Um, he, I think he died before that. <laughs> it was yeah. In, it was around the same time they had like it was it was. Somebody Google it. Let's have some facts on this on this on this platform. I'm already on it. <laughs> um, we just say what we want. Keith, Keith Haring died, died in '82. <laughs> no, Keith Haring died uh, a year later. In 90? Yeah, he died three months before I was born. Yeah. He died so that you could be here. He was a sacrifice <laughs> for you to be, for you to make art. So don't blow it, don't blow it, nigga. You know what I mean? Don't let him down. That would have been a weird sacrifice. I don't know who, who worked that deal out for Keith Herrod or you. <laughs> <laughs> your mom, that was your mom's dream. You was just gonna make sure her baby's the artist. We had a blood sacrifice to keep her in. <laughs> Alright, let's go classic. I wasn't gonna bring up nobody, but I forgot. I mean, we got we got Kyrie here, so I don't think me and Kadeem ever ever talked about anybody from the Renaissance era. So who y'all wanna go? Who who would be a good versus to go like the uh the Renaissance peer people? Now wait, Van Gogh is not Van Gogh is not Renaissance though, right? No, he's my not. We would have we would have had to put him against. He's in his own lane too. Mm -hmm. You'd have to put you put Van Gogh up against Matisse. Like, yeah, Matisse, maybe, right? Maybe Rembrandt. Yeah, I said Maltese like the dog <laughs> or Rembrandt. So who who y'all want to do? Who, who what two what two people from like the Renaissance? You you pick it, Kyrie. You would know who who you think is a good matchup. One of those classic arguments is is a is a few of them, but as far as like name recognition, is is always Leonardo versus um versus Michelangelo. Now, what did Leonardo do exactly? Uh, just for for let's lay it out there because people forget. Did he do Did he do Mona Lisa? He did the Mona Lisa. Okay, so that's that's mm -hmm. a point of reference. We don't know nothing else he did. Most people don't know most of other things he did. That's what's crazy. He did a lot of other stuff. That most people don't know. But you know the name, um, and then the other one is Michelangelo. They lived around the same time. He did the David, the Statue of David, right? He also did the Sistine Chapel. Wait, that's sick. So yep. who y'all think went? So who? All right, that's a good one. I might, I might have to Google some images for myself to do, to give a fair assessment. Now, Leonardo. This is my personal favorite, is Leonardo da Vinci. But I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Michelangelo for the same reason why I get everybody else. It's not just name recognition, but you recognize his work. His work is more popular than him. Um, the Sistine Chapel, the-, uh, the oh, Michael An Michelangelo? Yep. Um, even the family he worked for, he worked for the uh, 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 
uh, the, the Medici family in Italy. Um, those are the two things that most people are going to know him for. He did the, he did the two, um, Leonardo did the, the, um, did the two, pe the people touching the Venus. Yep. That's, the centerpiece. Oh, that's yep. fire though. I like that. That, that, that God, ref uh, he did uh, Venus, he did Venus, he, he did, did um, Venus. yeah, I like that. I like that. Let me see Michelangelo. That's the thing about, that's the thing about Michelangelo. You're going to recognize his work more than you know his yeah. name. No, the person I just mentioned was, was Leonardo. I'm talking about, right? What? That did the, the no, Venus no. and all that. Nah, that was Michael. No, that's Michael. Uh. So the, here's the funny thing. Why y'all looking that up? Mike, uh, Leonardo da Vinci was one of those artists that was like classically trained, but he hated doing commission work. He got mad work that he got paid to do that he never finished. <laughs> oh yeah, I did hear that. Like he got oh, mad wow. work that he, he got paid to do that he didn't finish. Um, he's famous. One of the other things he's famous for is the Last Supper one. Oh, he did the Last Supper. Yeah, that's that's da, da Vinci. And he also did the one with the hands out. Like I don't the, know. Uh, so wait. All right. So real quick. So real quick. Yeah, so name, give me that's Michelangelo's cool. top three pieces that he did that everybody knows. The Sistine Chapel, David. Um, birth. Wait. What's it? What's you, you say he did? Birth you birth say he did Venus? The two, the two hands touching. That's in that's the Venus. That's, that's that's part of the 16th chapter. Oh, okay, okay. The the Venus one you're talking about is the um no, not Venus, the birth of Aphrodite. I think he did that one. That's the one. All right, so those two, let's just go two. So he did he did he did the 16th chapel and the statue of David. Right. So what was what's Leonardo's top two? Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa Abby. and um and the Last Supper. The Last Supper of Jesus, he painted that. I'm gonna go Leo. Nah, I'm gonna go with my man Leo. <laughs> just for the just for the um, cultural icon. Those are two. Those are two iconic images, man. Right. You know what's crazy though? Like, as I look at their work, I know more Michelangelo work right, off yeah. the of stuff yeah, I've learned from. Like, well, you don't need it to know, but you don't need to know nothing but Mona Lisa. That's like, yeah, but like, he got the you one can also say that about the 16th Chapel. Like you can. What you also could say about the Last Supper, Peyton. That's a, this, this That's how you cool. visualize Jesus. You had to, you had to, un, you had to unlearn that as your Jesus. Look, right here. <laughs> Look, right here. Like the hand. I made that kind of like the Sixteen Chapel, like the hand reaching out for the other hand. I'm like, exactly. I kind of gotta go with Michelangelo. Are you going with Mike? I'm not even gonna front. Michelangelo's my favorite Ninja Turtle. That has nothing to do with this. But I don't want you. I would never, you know, I would never. I wasn't never a Leonardo guy. I was a Raphael, Leon, Michelangelo guy. This is the one. The other ones like like Michelangelo deserve a lot of credit. So he. Wait, who you picking though, Kyrie? Who'd you pick? Huh? Who'd you pick? I pick I pick Michelangelo because because you can you can recognize his work. Yeah. Real okay. easily. There's more pieces that you can point to. Like, oh, that's a Michelangelo joint. You know, you might not even know it's Michelangelo, but you know, you know, he got mad pieces out there, and you're like, oh, Michelangelo's dead. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Michelangelo David, won. Yeah, that's two one. Michelangelo won because because his work is yep. more recognizable. But listen, I, I ain't gonna front. If you put is their work that different looking? Because I feel like if you just show me all, I wouldn't know who was who. So this was the competition okay. back in the day. This was this was the, how they competed. It was like. Who was the better classical trained artist, right? Leonardo da Vinci was uh, was older, right? And he was like a master at all that stuff. But he got so many things that he never finished, but everybody knew he had the skill, right? He only applied it to only his few personal things, right? But um, Michelangelo was taking risks. The, statue, the David statue was famous not because it's a big naked dude, because it was mad people doing them joints, right? What he did, um, he was commissioned to do that work from a big giant piece of marble. They had hired I'm a another fucking artist. art historian under your name. <laughs> this is what makes him dope. This will make this will make some a dope artist. Another artist came in and started to do the work. Another artist got commissioned to do the work, and it messed up the marble. They messed up the rock, so they spent let's say millions of dollars, let's say hypothetically, to 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 quarrel it, to get out the dirt and and get the joint. Somebody started it and put a big hole in it. And the artist was like, I'm sorry, I messed up. They spent a minute trying to get somebody else to do it. Michelangelo came and said, I got this, let me do it. 
And if you look at it and you see there's a speed the piece there, he saw a way to work around that hole in the middle of the rock. Wow. So and then and, and, and still keep everything in proportion. Wow. So that's a big feather. So from that, he got a lot of work from that. He got the 16 chapel behind stuff like that. Well, this has been a very informative. You're welcome. Thanks. This has been a very informative. <laughs> we could put we could we could we could type art um specialists and uh nobody would know better. You gotta tap Pastor Kyrie, art historian, art scholastic teacher, art scholastic. All right. <laughs> All right, let's let's do a quick segue. We uh, that's all the that's all the main that's all the main artists. Yeah, I mean, no, there's a lot more, but I mean, those those are the those are the top ones. Let's let's swing into music. I don't know if everybody. I know even if you haven't seen the Gucci and um Jeezy, you heard about it, right? On Instagram, I you've seen. I didn't even watch it. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't watch the whole thing. I saw I saw pieces. Kadeem, you watched it. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> so we only we don't even have to recap it. I think everybody knows what it is. He's doing it for the culture out here. Yeah. <laughs> but let's um <laughs> let's how, let's let's talk about some possible matchups that we would want to see. I mean, they're talking about right now fifty and um. I don't necessarily want to see that. I don't want to see that either. And what you gonna do? Play for four of the songs that you that you wrote? Yeah. That, they said that they agreed to it. I don't want to see. I I saw I, official flyer. It looks like. Listen, we know the fifty one. We want to see. He just don't. Daru. Want to see. Yeah, he said he ain't doing it. He said he ain't doing but, it. But that would ten, that that that, that, that just needs just to be for history. Wait, actually, if you do that battle, ain't no other battle gonna be a battle behind that because. <laughs> Listen, if Gucci, if Gucci and and um, Jeezy could do it, shouldn't they be able to do it? Nah, nah. You see 50, the heady level. Somebody got killed, huh? Yeah, Kadeem. No, I was saying the level of petty and fifty, like both sides are still. No, petty. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Jeezy was at least still a little more mature. Like neither side. No, I don't. Okay. I think Ja Rule's over. Ja Rule's like, just I just want to be back and make regular money, guys. Please. Nah, 50, 50's joint. Fifty's issue was that you know, the beef wasn't just on on record. The beef was like people got people lives. Was, yeah. So was, was so was Jeezy and them. Didn't somebody get killed? Yeah. Yeah. I sent him home in a casket to you. Did he? Didn't he say something <laughs> like that? He, he said, "I'll s- send more to me. I'll send them back in the casket to you, looking all pretty." That's exactly yeah, what he so, said. You know, I mean. <laughs> That would be the one we will all want to see. We will all want to see that, though. But you know what? You know why 50 would never do it? You're right. Because he would never want Ja Rule's streams to go up the next day. Yeah, because that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. People, yo, Ja Rule had bangers behind bangers behind bangers. For real. Kari Kari, Kari went to the Every Little Thing You Do tour in 2001. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Um... I was thinking about this and me and my friend was talking about it after the versus battle like in the south even if they don't like you everybody still want to eat yeah. in new york we're like Fifty and Ja, no i don't care i don't want no one to eat only i eat yeah and that's right. how Fifty's mentality all the time. and his mentality is still that yeah Being like, changed. i go to show you that he just like, loves game too i'm sorry he got a soft spot for game yeah, you were you willing to forget all that? Wasn't they shooting at each other too? They had no. they had they, they, they wouldn't be going in at like the way him and Ja was. No, no. The him and that, ja, that shit with Ja happened damn near in the nineties now. Yeah, but it wasn't. It, it didn't go as deep. It didn't go as deep. It was more. It was more of this than anything. Not to say it wasn't nothing that was going down, but Close guys, not to get off on a heart. tangent. Wait, real quick. Something I thought about is random. I gotta, I gotta share this with y'all. You ever notice that the 2000s is like the 90s now? And like the 90s is like the 80s now? Yeah. As far as like the 2000s is like old school now. Like that's like yeah. almost the night, like 2000, especially like 2000, 2005. That's damn near like the 90s now. <laughs> like, like, like back, that's how back in the day that shit was now. Like yeah. it's starting to seem like that's how we in 2020 they, now. I mean, they could get over it, but they should because it was so long ago. Well, listen, at the end of the day, I feel like um, 
there's not many people that they could do versus with. So I was like, they gotta kind of yeah. give people the match they want to see. I still want producer wise for Rel Kanye. I don't give a fuck. Oh yeah, I, I, I just I don't think that's yeah. happening. I would sit for that. That would have happened already. I, you never know. They can I mean, provide Wyoming to Kanye to his compound. But Kanye's gonna want to uh, just make it. He, he, he's not, there's no way he's gonna let it just be what it is. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to do something Kanye to it. That's true. If, if and Apple that can make it, and that can make it not happen. That can make it like slow it down from happening. I mean, listen, the, the versus the versus situation needs to be updated anyway. Um, the way they, I mean, listen, somebody should have wrote an app, developed some technology, something because. It, it don't be hit like it, it like the, the smartest thing they did was put them in the room together that's the smartest thing you can do but it don't hit the same way you just watching them listen like y'all been in studio sessions right it, it it watching the studio session through the tv versus actually being there is two different things exactly because <laughs> that's oh yeah remember remember when they were just to be on um they i forgot about that remember when they used to be not together yeah who started who started to be together it was your your cousins Beating man, beat, beat, beat oh, man and them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they was the first ones to be together, right? Yeah, but you know, they were in Jamaica, so it made sense. It just made sense to be in one space. But it makes like And then wait, who else did it? Um uh, Monica and Brandy. Yeah. Monica, and y'all ain't shit, because y'all none of neither one of y'all watched Patty and um and Gladys. Nope. I wouldn't you know what? I'm the reason why I wouldn't watch it, but cause like it wouldn't Sound quality. What you Sound mean? Nah, they they was together. Yeah, but it still Wait. didn't sound. It is. It didn't hit the same. Did you watch it on Apple or did you watch it through IG? I watched it through IG. I tried to watch it through IG. Huh. Well, you, you missed the part. You missed the part because yeah. they were talking about a beef they had like back in like seventy five. Oh, okay. And Gladys, Gladys was like, "Yo, bring up again. I'm gonna send them. I'm gonna send them home in a box to you." Gladys <laughs> said that to um, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, Curry. <laughs> but anybody, anybody, y'all want to see who y'all want to see? How about Buster? Y'all don't want to see Buster getting there with nobody? I said Buster and Missy. I've been saying Buster and Missy for a minute. Buster and Missy. I don't know why. I don't necessarily just feel like Buster and Missy go together. They are just because of their videos. Maybe if it was ever show, it was playing videos. Maybe you know why? You know why I say they're perfect? They're both like very innovative, creative. Like when you hear their flows, it's never the same. The beat production is always interesting, and each one got hits. Whether you go from like hits from like early when Buster was working Tribe Called Quest to like yeah. early '90s, it's always something different, even for that time. To the point, how, how about missing. how about Cameron and um? I, I heard Nori mention that he wanted to do it with Cameron, but Cameron respectively, respectably, respectfully declined. Cameron's getting Nori the fuck out of here. It really don't make sense for Nori to be. No, but I think you, and trust me, I'm a bigger Cameron fan, but Nori has some songs that hit, like, from back in the days that you might have forgot about. No, don't get me wrong. I love, like, you know, love Band for TV, Super Thug. I love a lot of those tracks in those times. But when it comes down to, like, dip set errors and but stuff But I think like it, would be, it would be good to watch from people from the era, from the, it, it, you know, somebody always has to win. I'll Gucci Mane Gucci Mane wasn't even up to go to um Jeezy as far as But that's to us as New Yorkers. I'm as talking about New as far as big records. But as New Yorkers we can say cuz in Atlanta a lot of people was giving him wins. Yeah. So we can't really say. But do you think he was getting wins over Jeezy's hits? There are some people who felt like it don't matter what Jeezy played, Gucci won. There was I got to I got I got I got to watch Gucci. that. Just cuz it was so, Gucci. That's what I was saying too, but it was, it was like it was a bias. It was more of a bias yeah. to like I, I like Gucci better than I like Jeezy. It was. Yeah. A, but you don't think that there's always somebody that's clearly like, like okay, you're not, you're gonna win, but but it's still a good in battle. That, in that battle, like Jill Scott really doesn't have can't go song for song with Erica Badu. Yeah, but here's what I was saying. I would prefer Cam Fifty. Then I would prefer Cam no, 50, 50 can't keep up, I mean, Cam can't keep up with 50. Respect. But here's the reason why. When you look at that diplomat G unit era, yeah, of, you like, have to do you have to do G unit versus um, the, the do set. it, do it. 
Yeah, you don't have to do that. That's that's, that's more that's, that's more interesting. Movie. That's more interesting to me. Because Cam's catalog without some dipset records doesn't quite hit the same either. He yeah, needs to play. I really I mean put, it. The, the, yeah, I like I like groups. I'm I'm want to see the groups versus groups, like locks versus. So yeah, so yeah, that, that's true. There hasn't been any. But groups versus the only groups. thing with the only thing with Gian is it's only going to be Fifty and Yeo there. It's going to look for a little bit and game for a little bit. Damn, when when did Ray Charles die? Cause damn, we could we should have got a Stevie versus. Uh, oh, that was bad. That was so long ago, Rob. Well, was- for the for the context of my joke, I, I would have really wish we could have got a versus. But <laughs> uh, man, that would have been classic. Oh, <laughs> sit them in a black and a dark room. <laughs> Don't even just, you know what you do? You just let them walk in the room. Just place two pianos randomly. Don't let them know where it's at. Let them find it. <laughs> and just start playing any, playing any hits. You're horrible. First, we get the piano horrible. go first. Well, who um, else? Who else? What other groups would be good? Um, yeah, I feel like Dipset versus you know a lot what? of people would be good. I don't know. This wouldn't be if if we're playing. If you could do labels, right? This is just me. If you're doing labels, because I think it's a big hip hop moment. It's not labels would be good for streams too. Right, but it wouldn't sit to New Yorkers, but it's a hip hop moment that we've never got. Cash money, no limit. That would be classic. They, that's never happened. And the streams would be through the roof. Streams would be through the roof. Through they'd have to make another roof just so that could be <laughs> You do that, that in like crazy. you do that in like Louisiana? Like New Orleans. Now here's the scary thing about that. I'm gonna say the truth. Hear me out, because I'm not mm-hmm. gonna argue. Overall Cash money wins, but if you go, wait, hit me out. But if you do twenty songs, no limit can keep up just for twenty songs. But overall, cash money has way more hits. But if you do so much twenty songs, because guess what? There's certain no limit songs that are very classic that I was gonna, that's gonna just people are gonna be nostalgic about. So oh yeah, but they would lose. But I'm just saying, like I mean, because you know what. When they, had wins. Fresh, when they had the Manny Fresh versus um oh, wait, you can't count Drake. You have to count you have to count you have to count No 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 Cash Money. 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 We're not counting Drake. We count no, like Money. Just Cash Money. Yeah, we count We still Doobie. count Wayne though. We still count Wayne. Yeah. Um so we talking 20 songs. So here's the thing, right? It's hard to be dry. it's hard to beat, it's hard to beat um back up. Uh, you were big back that uh, uh, back there. It's hard to meet. It's hard to meet. Um, high. You don't know, high. You mean you mean all the junk juvie was on? <laughs> it's hard to beat that. But no, it's but, hard. To, it's hard to beat. I'm not gonna go through the, all the drinks. It's hard to beat real quick. Cause, cause save right. cash money. What else? But if you go no limit, it's hard to beat down. No, 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 <laughs> like, go to cash money first. Go, go yeah. to cash money first. Right. I might. I'm, um, I think I'm agreeing with you, Rob. I'm not going to go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. No limit, but it's gonna run out. You are gonna see what I'm saying? Bling, 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 bling. Are you kidding me? Like, that's gonna be very hard to beat. Um, yeah. Um, um, it's gonna be very. Black is hot, little Wayne. Black is hot. Um, um, any little Wayne, three little Wayne, Wayne joints. They could play a Millie. Friends joints. They could play a Millie. Well, technically, these uh, joints. <laughs> it's a roll on by the big timers. That's what I'm saying. All right, now, now. I think it was on here. Hold on, keep naming a few because there's more. I'm sorry, you can start playing joints like Cash Money, random joints like boy. What Happened to That Boy. Yeah. What Happened you to can. That Boy? Cash Money. Um, it's cash money. Anything Junior. from Little Wayne. Anything from Little Wayne during that Carter One, um, Two, Three. You could, you could, you can play. Yeah, like. What was that song? Shine. He had Shine when he was like when he first started doing the dreadlocks. He did 500 degrees. He had this shit called Shine. He had a couple yeah. songs. They had a. I'm just saying that. Oh, album. That 500 degrees album was a dope right. album. Now, mm-hmm. now, hear me mean. out. Now let's go to No mean. Limit. Realistically, this is what you got from No Limit, Mr. Ice Cream Man, because that's just that one goes hard. As far as right. nostalgia, he might lose though. He might lose, but they can play that. Um, but their biggest thing is bam bam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that song is cringy, but that's a big one. Um, right? They got a lot of joints, but not no, a no, lot no, no. You gotta say them though. You gotta say them. You can't say they got a lot of joints. I can't. 
This is this is my point though. This is what I want to do. I know they got a lot. What of was the one he was gonna say, Kadeem? Because he was gonna say one. Um, the down for my niggas to see murder joint. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, mystical, mystical joints. Yeah. Like, so mystical no joints. So, he was on. Wait, how long was he on No Limit? How many? He yeah, because he wasn't. You know what? He wasn't on No Limit for the ones out. For them real good ones. No. For them Pharrell joints. But he still yeah. got some joints. He, you have the man right here that goes on there. Yeah. yeah. Here uh, I go. The man here I go. Right here. <laughs> but guess what? That list is getting quiet. Yeah. That's why. Was, that, that's why I said say all the cash money's hits first, just so you can see yeah. how many. They got but my thing was just like it ain't for us. This is more no 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 but us or not. I was I was paying attention to music at that time. Yeah, That's back you, when it wasn't as regional. Like I listened to both of them equally. The, the certain joints that play in the club anywhere, no matter yeah. what, cash money got more of them. They do, they did. It's not like we've so regional. I'm not that regional cat too, so it's like I, I listen to um, No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying because no, I know what you mean by Gucci and, yeah. and, and Jeezy. Like if you're not from there, it's just different. But at the end of the day, I listen to music. And Jeezy has bigger records. I don't care what you say. Jeezy can probably go anywhere in the country and perform, and, and, yeah. and everybody would like it. Where Gucci might go certain places and it's like, oh, them out of here. What? I just remember. So Snoop was on them for a while too. So what counts from Snoop under No Limit? He only had one. Anything, album anything that the album so was on. Still, a, it's still a G thing. And he had another track or two underneath them. I don't remember what the others are. I yeah, don't. I, he, he, he had, he had two Snoop joints that you could throw in. That that album was horrible, though. Yeah, it was. It no, was no, no, no. I'm sorry. The second, this is a whole different topic, but I think we might have mentioned this. But Snoop's second album was the worst second album ever. Like from having like <laughs> such a classic first album, but that was still on Death Row. That was when Dre left. That that was his third album with No Limit. But I think he only might have did. He might have did two albums with them. You don't think he stayed there for at least two albums? Me. Two or three, three albums with them, yeah, yeah. It's because that would just that would I make good bitch, business. I, I see, bitch, please. I see, yeah, bitch, G please. Thing, so. No, that that counts as no limit. Yeah, yeah no, bitch, please. The Dre did that though. Yeah, but it's under no limit. That's a no limit album. Well, that's a sneaky one. That's the thing. They do a well, lot of business. Like that's that. a sneaky <laughs> one. That's a sneaky one. But I guess, I guess, you gotta put it. You know, they still don't have enough. They don't have enough. Are you not mentioning nothing? Mm-hmm. And we might be forgetting oh. stuff too. Yeah, I can't remember stuff off the top of my head. I would have. Oh, to cool. Like I like the like the masterpiece album, Ghetto Dope. Yeah. Oh, is there a heaven for a gangster? Gangster, gangster. That, that's not that's not beating nothing. Ah. That ain't beating nothing. Yeah. What was the joint did for you. Tupac? Nah, he, they lost. That's it. <laughs> they lost, sad. but it's still a good look. The same way you just said Jill Scott and Erica, that's still a good look. It would be a good look. It would be entertaining. Because they never had Baby and they never had Baby and Master P on like screen together. Yeah. So, you know, I think for a moment that's a dope moment. Will we ever get Jay Z and Nas? Hell no. They don't need to. (laughs) But they don't need to. They don't even need to. You wouldn't want to see that. I think, no, I, think I, that's mean, gonna be, I think that's also going to be one of those things that's people, it's just a bias, right? You're just going to go with who you like. It's not, it, it ain't going to be like, it's going to be a, a Jeezy, Gucci type situation. It's going to be mad bias. But it's, it's, it's how you curate team. the 20 songs. I don't. It doesn't matter, B. <laughs> Jay-Z's going to have more, more radio play hits. He just got them. But then yeah. it's like, we know not, we know Nas is deep with, Mad lyrical X, Y, and Z's, but you know, if I had to say it like this, Nas don't have a lot of A sides that can mess with Jay Z. You Jay-Z. don't think Nas can pull 20 out from his whole career? I'm not saying that, I'm just yeah. saying on a part of like Nas and Jay Z aren't his A sides are different, different though, too. Yeah, so that's the thing, like, you're gonna cure you want to curate a sound where it's like back and forth, it can be like enjoyable. So what if they did that? What if they did that? Like because not Jay Z can go to Nas's level and not play a bunch but of party that's records. The issue, though. We know Jay Z's dumbing down. We no, that's not dumbing down. No, that's not dumbing down. 
That's not dumbing down because those songs are still strong. No, not dumbing down in that way. Dumbing down in the sense of we know he's not picking the song that he that he knows he can just. But I rather I rather Jay Z give me some of his album cuts versus Nas than 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 party and then change clothes. But but that's the thing. Like none of these other people that have done this have played with a handicap. Right. Yeah, I think Jay Z played with a handicap. Right. I got you. Snoop and DMX on Snoop and DMX on paper. Snoop was mm-hmm. supposed to get Dip X out of there, but the way the songs went, he didn't. I think Snoop did that on purpose. Yeah, I think he, so he too. forfeited. He forfeited around by playing the East Siders. I think I he forfeited that he moment. Forfeit, but it's like he ain't had nothing to prove. Yeah, he ain't yeah. had nothing to prove. I think but, I mean for, the East Siders. You know, you're not you're losing that round. I think that one was more like Snoop sharing a moment with DMX and Snoop. Snoop is a given person. So I think Snoop wanted that moment to be more about seeing X in a good space yeah. and everybody enjoying that moment. I only think Snoop went there to win. Not, not, and not to say that he couldn't compete at all, but yeah. Snoop, 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 mm-hmm. Snoop got a bigger arsenal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Snoop left a lot on the table. How about, since we saying like crews, I'm still on the crews. Like I feel like 90s, into the into the early two thousands had the best crews, cause like State Property was a good crew. I would love to see a State Property versus Dipset. I would no, I would like to see uh, uh, State Property versus Lox, the Locks. That's not fair. That's only but three that's people. The- uh-huh. Huh? I feel that's like only that's three people. people so them three people hit hard. <laughs> that's a group. Think, you gotta put. I don't think State Property got a chance against Dipset. I really don't. Against Ooh. Dipset? I don't. No, you know, you never was a state property fan. I was, but I just they don't. don't have they don't have it against Dipset. Dipset. They're not fucking with Dipset. Well, mm-hmm. let's be real. They have they have Beanie Siegel. Mm-hmm. That was a that was a heavy a heavy spitter. Right? One more person. Go ahead. One more person. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like free I like Freeway. That's it. You can stop. That's it. <laughs> That's yeah, it. Pretty much. Oh no no! I do like Petey Crack. I like Petey Crack. All right, Petey Crack has some joints, but like. Nah, not against, not against them, them two and a half. So who Dipset got? Cam, you got Jules. Jules. Cam, Jim, well. Oh, Dipset. <laughs> That's the same three, three on three. But and, 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 and you're not counting the 40 cows and the and the JR Riders and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. makes what? They yeah. made that one point. Joel Santana. Come on, they, they did. What they if did. Mason Cam did a, did a, did a, um, that would be interesting. I don't know uh, who I was picking there, but no, Mace got joints. To see. Nah, but see, you he, he's not, younger than us, so he can't even fathom that. He's like, Mace. no, that's not the part of where I'm saying I, I put that on the fifty job. Like personalities are gonna stop them from getting in. No, no, no. Believe it or not, Mason Cam is could sit in a room. It's not they, that deep. They, they, I, I don't think they're gonna do it for for verses. Nah, I don't see they would do it for verses for the right money for them streams you, for the money. What do you mean for the money? They shouldn't have to be paid to do it. They get, they gonna benefit they from it. They get paid. They get paid. These ain't free joints. These ain't for the love. Oh. Apple is cutting them a check. <laughs> How much do they they paying them to do it? Well, I, don't know. I mean, maybe in the beginning, maybe in the beginning it was free because it was just on IG. But but now it's 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 a it's an event. It's a show. I believe. Yo, can I do mine's over? <laughs> um, Some of those producers need to do theirs over though, like do yeah, it with better, do. with better they sound they quality. They say, uh, I think I heard Swiss says he wants to do like him and Timberland should never should have never went against each other though. Who? Timberland and Swiss never should have went. I don't think that's the match to me. No, I would have went okay. Timberland and and Pharrell if anything. That's the match I want to see. Yeah. Uh, I would like to see um, Swiss up it's, against um, Just Blaze. They did that. They did do it. They I did, did it I first. That one over my head. Who won that I one? I would want to see Just Blaze and Kanye. That was like years ago, though. Who I won that one? See. Just Blaze and Oh, nah. No. They kind of said. They kind of said. They. You know what it is about Swiss, man? He performs it good. He kind of. Didn't they kind of say Swiss won? It was just his performance because of his energy. Because of how Swiss is, his. but you know, beat for beat, Just Blaze got better beats than of Swiss course. beats. Um, but big Cam, songs. 
is it too late to do Timbal? I feel like there's enough time from when Versus started till now where I feel like you could still do Timbal and Pharrell. Like I feel like yeah, I feel like yeah, because you can hear his beats up against Pharrell's beats. Yeah, I feel like you could still do it. Yeah, I would like Kanye up against. You know who I really want to see? I want to see the Alchemist in there. Again, I want the Alchemist. Yeah. Anybody? Just to see him. Just to see him out there, right? He's one of my personal favorites. I feel like he can go toe to toe with any. All right, let's so let's compare him to the samplers. It's not. I wouldn't want to have him with like Pharrell. That's stupid. Yeah. But if you compare what? him with any of the samplers, he can go toe to toe with any of them. What about him versus I, I I think, and this is blasphemous. And trust me, I know better. I Uh-oh. think Alchemist beats the man. Uh oh. I I couldn't argue that hard about it. I, it wouldn't be now, the only movie. thing that would make it hard is that <laughs> Premier has so many. Um, so many hits, so like it's nostalgia. So it's hard to beat. If you're just talking about the beat, the instrumental, but if Premier's playing the song and you hear Jay Z's intro from his from his '98 album, nah, yeah. it's hard. But you know what I'm saying? Because like he'll have those bigger records. Because Premier could give you a song from Nas, Jay. He got a, he got a wide range of artists he worked with. Um, Gangsta, you know what I mean? So so song for song, he might win. But if you're talking about just beats. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think Alchemist and Just Blaze would be a good battle. Yeah, yeah, and I think they did do something. I think they did, but it wasn't it like did. official. It was. It was look, if everybody didn't see it, it didn't count. Yeah, it was years back because I found the video and it was like Alchemist and Just Blaze was on the stage, and Alchemist was like breaking down how he was doing the "We Gonna Make It" beat, and you just see the whole crowd just lose their mind as he was like breaking it into it. I would love to see Alchemist. I feel like Alchemist has those sneaky records. That's what hip hop really, really needs right there. Them old school DJ battles. When they build the beat live. Yeah. That will be, that will move culture right there. Mm-hmm. If we can see people like break down the beat and like this is how you, you put this on here. You know, they don't go in the crates no more, but you know, like really building a beat in person. Because everybody say, oh, it's it's easy to be DJ. You just press buttons because, you know, they mm-hmm. all that stuff with sampling and whatnot. Nah, it's, it's, it's a skill to build all no, that that's stuff. That's an art. Anybody that says yeah. it's, easy, it's easy, give them any piece of equipment and say, here's a song, make a beat. And Yo, see right. if they can chop it up and make something new. My people that can't even do the beats on the table joints. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but wait, real quick about Alchemist. You know what I think about him? And I, I, I know his stuff, so I wouldn't be shocked. But I feel like he he would be a sneaky, it would be a sneaky victory because people wouldn't realize how many beats they love from him that they, they might not have realized he did. Because Alchemist did, first of all, his introduction was he became the second in command as far as the production for Mob D. That's right. right. Bro. And, right. And, and, and like 99 into 2000, that, that era, right? So if they wasn't using a Havoc beat, it was an Alchemist beat. That's how I first got put on them from Mob D. So I'm like, yo, every time his beat, I'm like, what's that? It was different from Havoc's beat. It was more sample based, more soulful, ironically. More soulful. Definitely more soulful. You know definitely. what I'm saying? And this is even before, this is even before Kanye. You, you could tell, to me, I like people like Alchemist and um, you got people that's real, just plays to me also. Like people yes. that really like pour they, pour they, emotions into building a beat and there's some people that just know the technique of building a beat and putting it together right. i like i like that's one of the reasons why i like alchemist uh i like just blaze a lot because mm-hmm. you can tell you know not that they're not technically uh you know off about it but they you can tell they put more of a a, a human's touch to it yeah so another another battle they was throwing out there i don't know if you're familiar with um uh they was trying to say Alchemist versus who was it? Um, Madlib. I don't know Madlib that well. So I think um, that would be good. That would be good. I still think Alchemist wins that, but what that would, would I know? What I know from Madlib that what, so you what would so, know from Madlib. So that's the thing. Maybe nothing if you if you haven't listened to if you haven't listened to Freddie Gibbs' recent albums. But other than that, he was very underground. So a lot of stuff, but you have to just really do your research. But he was doing like stuff with Dilla, um, doing stuff with MF Doom. 
just like he, he's just underground. I, I caught on to him a little late too. I know I'm working with a bunch of Brooklyn rappers. <laughs> underground so all those years where you all those years where we were like in mainstream stream artists, he was yeah. existing and, and and being a big deal. But they he puts out a lot of um production albums and stuff. You should just look him up, check it out. It, it's dope. But just the Matlab, the um, what was the two albums he did? Um Pinata and Pinata and Bandana. And Bandana. I would say go go to those two albums by yeah. Freddie Gibbs. That's a good you intro. Can find mental joints. I think yeah. you could keep find those. those that's a good intro to, to Madlib, I would say those two albums. Yeah. Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs, yeah. Um, what do you what about groups? Like what groups like I would be interested if they're gonna do like I do Goody Mob in three six. They would they would probably do it for the for the fun. They'd probably do it yeah, for Yeah, yeah, that would be good. I was trying to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. Dungeon I like Dungeon Family as a whole. Yeah. Verse. Verse that, that's a like, hard um, one. That's a hard one. Well then that's different because you got Outcast is a group. I would love to see Outcast <laughs> versus another um you know, I don't know who they would be who who Outcast would go against, but um Yeah. They would have to go against maybe like tribe, but it's two different eras. Two different eras. I heard Swiss say something like that. It's two different eras, though. It's two different eras. It's two different eras. You can't you can't go mixing stuff um, that came out in the eighties compared to something that came out in two thousand and three. Yeah, sonically so different to me. Um, But groups, so I would say groups. I would like to see the locks. I mean. Locks versus Mob Deep would have been. I mean, can you still do something like that? Can can Mob Deep should still be able to do something? It's still just playing songs. They should still I mean, be able to do it. The songs are still there, right? Let's be there to represent. We got one person. You got one half to represent. So, an Alchemist could be there, as far as I'm concerned. He's a he's an unofficial third member. Okay. Do you I mean, have Havoc perform and Alchemist DJ? Exactly. Havoc perform Alchemist DJ. Versus the locks. Yeah, that'd be a good. Oh, one. you know, you know who? Will, nah, well, no, yeah, the, the locks, the locks. That'd be. I don't want to put them against other like I was gonna say, how about Capone and Noriega, but that they it wouldn't measure up. Mob Deep is yeah, they have to go against another big group. I don't know if we're gonna get any of these. Any, any who these who we put Wu Tang up against? Wu Tang <laughs> would have to go against a whole label. Yeah, it would have to go against the whole label. But I could compare. <coughs> oh, I got you. I, Rough Riders. Dungeon Family. Dungeon Family. I would have to, but I have, you have to keep it East Coast. Just, that would be that would just be too weird. Dungeon Family and Wu Tang would be too weird. I mean, how, about, really... how about the whole Rough Riders? That might be a good mix. Yeah. Because now you could play, you could play Raekwon stuff. You could play solo albums from the Wu, but you could play. Solo stuff from and the locks is included. You got X. E, yeah, you got, you got E, you got X. Drag on if you want to get spicy. On. But the issue with that is that is so much to narrow down to twenty. I mean, that would be the hard part. You gotta do a series. You gotta do. A, you gotta do a two part series. And that's usually Wu Tang versus Goody Goody Mob, but that would just be biased. It would be like the South would like the South. I mean, it's honestly people would just say Wu Tang just cause. You gonna see mad at me? No, not in not in not in Georgia. <laughs> not in Georgia. Nah, Wu Tang is universal. They know it. Wu Tang's for the kids. <laughs> Wu Tang forever. Oh, how about how about Terror Squad? How about Terror Squad? Oh, Terror Terror Squad. I don't even know who's on Terror Squad. Cause you got well, you got Fat Joe, you got Big Fun, you got Remy, Remy, Cuban Links. Cuban links, Cuban links. Had, you know, he had a respectable run. He had, he had a couple of joints. So I'm just saying, who would they? They, they would have to go against another, another '90s crew. Listen, all the '90s crews was Rough Riders, Rockefeller. Nah, they had the other '90s crew was um, um, Lil Kim and them. Um, Junior Mafia. Junior Mafia. Nah, that's Biggie wrote everybody's raps. <laughs> so what? We're, going, we're not going for who wrote the. Are we just playing the song? Nah, they don't have enough songs. They only did one album. Yeah, they have a bunch of features. 
had a bunch of features. Look, the stream's gonna get bad. They're gonna have to do verses for dead for dead rappers soon. They're gonna have they're gonna have Wait, Biggie, I just Biggie about, and Tupac verses. Just for the streams. I just thought about something. What about you know how we said you said Busta is a little weird to put for like Missy? What about him and Matt? Busta versus Matt? Met the man will run out. You think so? Even if you use Wu Tang? Well, nah. yeah, no, if he could use Wu Tang, then no. No, yeah, Method wouldn't run out because Method, Method Man got his joints, obviously Wu Tang joints, but he got mad features. He got well, mad yeah. features. So if that's the case, then yeah, you're right. He can survive off that. Because he, he should be able, he should be able to do the cream hook, and that should count. Because mm. you knew that part of the song before you knew any part of any of those verses. That's, I mean, that's a feature. It is yeah. a feature. The and, and ice cream was, hook, one of the illest hooks. Yeah. 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 Speaking of verses, let's end it like this. You guys have battled a couple of times. Art, Segway God. <laughs> and well, I forgot. Anybody, y'all want to catch me up on the, on the standings? Because I, I, what was. I read to me one. Curry. Well, y'all battled three times already. You win the, fir- yeah. you won the first one, right? I'm not just a refresher for the audience. You know I know good God damn well. So you won the first You won the first time. You won the first time. Kyrie won the second. You had to the tiebreaker in Queens. Right. All right. First joint, the first joint was the Miami, the um the Miami, the Miami battle. It was in the road to Miami. The road to Miami. Brownstone, yeah. That was dope. That was dope. I was I was too out there with my joint. I was, you know, I was being Kyrie in the movement. <laughs> and then the second one was in Yonkers. Yes. Well, he brought every sibling. He brought every family member. He could. He could <laughs> to North North Bronx. And then Queens was packed. That was a packed house. That was a fair. That, that was good. A, yeah. that, was that was a good that was, one. That was a fire. Yeah. And Kyrie, you said you'd never battle him again, right? I'm battling everybody. Who else well, won? You're never gonna battle him again, though, right? That's it, right? I, nah, we done. Kadeem, unless Kadeem, unless Kadeem, nah, we ain't doing it no more. We good. That's yeah. it. You're, that's too many. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> if you if if y'all do, it has to be like mad years later, like a old a old as old men. Chat. Like, let's do it one more time. See if you still got it, nigga. <laughs> You have to do. Um, you older than him, so you maybe maybe your fingers might be a little more arthritic. Now we might have to do the joints on uh, the iPad version. <laughs> oh, iPad version. Oh, Kadeem might not. He might smoke you on that. He's a little more. He'll, he'll probably smoke you it. too, Ano. You'll take forever to, uh, to do your. Right. <laughs> right. He knows all the tricks already. I'd be pinching and turning the joints around and and and, and just to get one line straight. <laughs> and he'll be like he'll be like this one button boop and his whole shadows shadow his whole shit. <laughs> Word. But I right, yo we're gonna get we're gonna get ready to get up out of here. We had a um good discussion today. It was good catching up. We're gonna try to um do these round round table discussions. Add a few more people so we get some different opinions. You know. Looks like we might be, we might be, God forbid, but we might be going back into lockdown uh, situations. So you know, I'm ready. We got to keep ourselves. You already, Kyrie's in the bunker. Here he, he got cases of water, toilet tissue. He ready? <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm prepared. But other than that, anything anybody want to say or shout out before we go? Um, no, I'm good. <laughs> All right. How about um, you, Pastor? Um, to God be the glory. <laughs> Would you say, Kadeem? I said, plug your YouTube. Plug your YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's, that's if, if we go down into a lockdown again, that's probably the next thing. I mean, I'm going to sit down and do more things of, you're going to see me do a lot more videography, more edit, well, more editing, because there ain't going to be too many videos being shot, but more editing. Yeah. I'm working on the joint right now as we speak. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll catch y'all next time, y'all. All right, y'all.